Nearly every IT professional who's got a YouTube channel has tackled this topic somehow. College or IT certifications, what's best for you? I'm going to tackle this topic now, but I'm not going to take the same stance as everybody else. Let's get going. As of today, April 16th, my opinion on this topic, should you get a college degree or should you go for IT certifications, my opinion on that has changed and why it's changed and how it's changed, we're gonna talk about it at the end of this video. But first, if this is your first time visiting my channel, you'd like to grow your IT skills and your IT career, click that little subscribe button, the little bell, that way you get notified when new content comes available. All right, like I said, everybody's tackled this topic and the gist that they always say is no, you don't need a college degree to get into IT. And if you had asked me that yesterday, I probably would have agreed. I probably would have said, you don't need a college degree in order to be successful in a career in IT, doing things like network engineering or systems engineering or even going into code or development. But as of today, my stance on that has changed a little bit and I always had a little reservation about saying you don't need college in the first place. My argument there is why not both? Think long term or think short term, whatever your goals are, here's what I think about that. The argument has traditionally been that colleges are expensive and they take four years to complete and they don't set you up with real world skills. I agree with all of those statements. Having gone to college myself and graduating with a degree in economics, I did come out of college in 2008 in the middle of the Great Recession, a terrible time to get a job. I eventually found my way into IT and I cover my journey in one of the very first videos I ever uploaded to this channel, something that goes like how I went from selling insurance to the trainer at CBT Nuggets and the director of IS at the LSU Foundation. How I went from selling insurance to an IT career. I went from selling insurance to these positions within five years and it was all thanks to CBT Nuggets training and certifications. But now think about it a little bit differently. When we shift gears and we start talking about do you need a college degree or or should you go for an IT certification? The argument is usually something like this. You can get a certification like your CCNA in six months and it'll cost you only a couple thousand dollars instead of a fortune like a college degree. And those things are correct. You can do all those. You can accomplish those things in that time frame or in that dollar range. But if you stop learning there, you stop progressing. Sure, you can get your CCNA and then get a job as a network engineer and maybe you can progress a little bit, maybe you can get a few promotions, but eventually your skill set, if you're not continuously learning and evolving your skill set, your career will hit a ceiling. To choose a career in IT is to choose a career as a continuous learner. Technology evolves and technology changes consistently. For me, I got my first certification five years ago and I haven't stopped learning, I haven't stopped studying, I haven't stopped evolving. And every single certification that I tackled, every single challenge that I went after, uh, well, my career progressed with it. So I could make the argument that I've spent more time studying and more money studying when you factor in subscriptions and certification exams and everything like that than when I spent in college. But every single one of those things that I did had a direct impact on my career. I got that money back. I got that time back in some way in the form of a better career evolution. But then that begs the question, could I have gotten to where I am without a college degree? And I think the answer there is no. That's just the game that we play. This is out there trying to find a job. It's a game and you got to play the game. HR is looking for things like college degrees and that college credential. It's just a fact. That's a tough pill to swallow because coming out of college, I didn't have the skills necessary to prepare me for a career. Even if I had gotten a degree in information systems or computer science, I still don't think I would have had the relevant skills needed by the environment that I was in. So if I had just done certifications, sure, I would have been able to launch into a career as a network engineer or a systems engineer, and I think my career would have eventually evolved to be at a senior level position, but would I have made it into the director level? Would I have made it into the manager level? I mean, I think we've all been there where we worked for someone, maybe a manager who didn't have the credentials that you had, made wrong choices, and you're sitting there thinking like, I deserve that position, but I'll never get it because I don't have the credentials that HR requires. Whether it was I got certifications and didn't get a degree, or I got a degree and didn't get certifications, I was in the same position. Having a degree but no certifications, I was not going to be allowed onto the network engineering team. 
I was in that situation. That's literally what prompted me to go get certifications. I was a SQL developer writing code, writing reports that helped people analyze their data, a skill set that comes with an economics degree, but I wanted to move into networking and systems and the answer was always no. So I think my argument that I'm trying to make here is if you really want to make it to the top, you may need both at some point. Of course, there's always exceptions to the rule. Maybe you could have a college degree and still make it to the top without any certifications or the flip side, maybe you have certifications and you don't have a college degree and maybe you can make it to the top. But now here's one thing. Here's why I think my mentality has changed and really shifted towards if you want the best long-term career change, explore the opportunity of both. The big setback there mentally is like, okay, well now I have to do college, which is one thing, and then I have to do certifications, which is something totally separate, until now. Check this out. You may recall the comment that I said that colleges weren't really aligned, their curriculum wasn't really aligned with what the real world skills were seeking. That's why HR and professionals are looking for certifications after all. But check this out. On my Twitter account, this was announced recently. LSU, Louisiana State University, the online curriculum, is now giving college credits for getting your AWS certification. I think this is a huge deal. Now we're seeing colleges who are offering online curriculums are shifting their curriculum towards what are the real world job skills that are required by HR? What are professionals and organizations really seeking out there in the real world? We're starting to see a shift in alignment between education and the real world, what businesses are seeking, what HR is trying to hire for. This was a major skills gap before, and now that skills gap is shortening. So what I'm here to say is that when you train, when you learn things like AWS Solutions Architect exam, you're subscribing to CBT Nuggets, now you're getting a two for one. When you subscribe to CBT Nuggets and you take these trainings and you take this exam and you get that certification, now another door has opened up for you. Maybe you don't go through that door. Maybe you don't go and get your degree. You still can get a great career as an AWS developer or architect. But the opportunity now to shift those certifications and maybe get that credits from an online educational institution like LSU, that opportunity is now there for you. So this is a two for one. Studying and learning with CBT Nuggets actually opens up another door and another opportunity for your career path. And then if you're thinking long term, maybe you're not thinking, what does my career look like three years from now? What does my career look like? 10 years from now? What does my career look like 15 years from now or 20 years from now? Now you're thinking, okay, well, I kind of do want to be the person in charge. I kind of want, I kind of do want to be the shot caller. And in order to do that, I'm going to need some sort of university credential. Again, that's not always true, but in a lot of cases, it's really going to help you and it's really going to set you apart from other people that you're competing against. So if you have the luxury of time and of course, the affordability, the expenses of going to college as well as getting a certification exam, or you want to get a certification exam that counts towards college, that opportunity is now there for you. And you'll get skills that might actually align with real world businesses. So I know you're dying to hear, like, if, if you had to pick one, which would you pick? Well, I'd pick the certification exams because that's what's going to set you up for immediate success. And it's absolutely relevant to the job or work you're going to be doing right now. And like I say, CBT Nuggets was the business that opened doors for me. I was subscribing to CBT Nuggets long before I worked for CBT Nuggets. And every certification exam that I took and passed, my career absolutely had an immediate impact and I developed and progressed further. But eventually I hit a ceiling and having that college degree helped me break through that ceiling. Now there's a way to tackle both at the same time. I'd keep my eyes on this as the landscape evolves over time because we're gonna see more universities offer programs like this where you can get a certification exam that counts towards your college degree or in this case, a micro cred like getting credentials in DevOps, which LSU Online offers. So that's my thoughts on college or IT certifications. Thanks for stopping by y'all. We'll see you in the next one.